What's up everybody? Josh here with PlanetChinchilla.com. Welcome back to the Planet Chinchilla YouTube channel. Thank you all for stopping back by. What's up Chili? You ready to come out? Ready to go get that dust bath? Yeah? What are you doing? You ready to get out of there? Ready to go play? You ready to go play? My stupid dog. Alright guys, like I was saying, welcome back to the channel. I got Chili pulled up here real nice and close for you in the cage and today is one of those days where it's time to give her a dust bath and I want to get her out to interact for a little bit so we are going to be making a quick video here today and I actually wanted to do something unrelated to the topic of the video but today I want to show you the benefits of using a dust bath, the container, which I'll go grab here in a second for getting your chinchilla out of the cage. So I already have other videos on the channel that break down how to get a chinchilla in and out of the cage pretty easily, but this is an overlooked trick and tactic that you can use. The actual video today, guys, is going to be about how to recognize if your chinchilla likes you. So I'm gonna go over some of the common ways you can start to understand if your chinchilla likes you, and then I wanna go over some of the things that you can do to improve your chinchilla liking you more in the future because, hey, who doesn't want that? Right, Chili? I should have taken the hiding box out of there so she would have been more front and center for you guys. Guys, for anybody new to the channel, new to Planet Chinchilla YouTube channel, this channel is specifically designed for new chinchilla owners or current chinchilla owners on how to raise these guys ethically, how to take great care of them. We're talking about diet, accessories, how to bond with them, how to keep them healthy, etc. So if you are a new chinchilla owner needing help with these kind of things and want to enjoy more useful and fun videos in the future, be sure to subscribe to the channel now so that you can continue to watch this content in the future. What are you doing? What are you doing, Chili? What are you Now guys, I'm gonna go head down, get the dust bath container, put her in it, and then take her to the playpen that I always give such high praise to. Stick around for just a second and we'll be right back with that. All right, so check it out guys. It is go time. We are going to get Chili out of the cage via dust bath. Exhibit A, dust in the dust bath. So what I'm gonna do guys here is I'm gonna actually take this hiding box out of the cage. And the reason you wanna do that is, well, typically this, I don't even need to do that. She would just go straight into the dust bath. But I don't know if you can see this big dumb dog. Oh, come here, Graham, what are you doing? Moral of the story is she's a little more skittish right now because I got big dummy out wandering around right now So she's kind of in and out of that hiding box non-stop So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the hiding bots, which usually not that good of an idea They really like that as their safety spot But I can't put him away because I have my Jack Russell Terrier in the other room currently and she just had a medical procedure completely unrelated, but I don't want him messing with her or them playing. So he's out. I'm going to remove that so it's that much easier to put her into the dust bath. And then I will take her down to the playpen so that we can start diving into those reasons on, not reasons, I'm sorry, on the signs that you can know if your chinchilla likes you. One other thing I want to point out. Somebody on one of the recent YouTube videos commented that they would like a video that's more about handling and holding etc which I plan to do I just already had this video kind of ready and teed up to do so it won't be in this one but I did want to mention the power of if you guys need to guys or if you're scared in the beginning which there really isn't any reason to be scared of them biting if you want to use a glove to you know once you have them in there to take them down there hold them in that like that that's fine I'm not worried about it so I'm not going to but I just wanted to bring these out for illustrative purposes 
so that you can see that that is an option if you're that worried about it. I've never had her, you know, bite the palm of my hand on the dust bath, but it is an option. If you want to use it, go for it. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the hiding box, put her in the dust bath, and take her downstairs and clean the cage. Yay for being 10 o'clock at night. So guys, too, just so you know, I'm taking everything out of here because it's I'm cleaning the cage. So look at my dumb dog. Go back in there for a second. All right. So what I've just done is I have removed all of the main items from the cage because I'm getting ready to wash the fleece. So you can see her running around like crazy, all mad that all of her stuff's not in there right now. Now I'm going to put the dust bath in there to get her out. <laughs> she is all over the place. And then I also pulled the old switcheroo on her, which the Critter Nation has two main platforms. So before I clean her cage, what I'll do is I'll swap the two main platforms so that she doesn't go down to the bottom it's just easier if I because I'm actually transporting her to a different floor of the house for playtime so just a little trick that I use time to put her in the dust bath let's move this along All right guys, I am back and she is safe and sound in the playpen. So we are gonna continue the video down there. Guess who's back? Oh, not for long. What's up guys? We're down in the playpen now here with Chili and it's time to start going over some of these common signs and what you can look for so that you know that your chinchilla likes you. Tip number one, don't step on your chinchilla when you get into the playpen. All right guys, so the first way you can know if your chinchilla likes you is if they get excited to see you or they just run and jump on you. If they're happy and comfortable around you, like, bam, what's up girl? What's your doings? What's your doings? You trying to get out of here? Nice try. Yeah guys, that is a common way to know if your chinchilla likes you. In the beginning, it probably won't happen or it won't happen easily. It won't come so naturally for them. I mean, she's okay. That's not good for a video. She's like in my crotch right now, but they will in the beginning, try and shy away from you a little bit more. And then they will start coming much closer to you. Then they will start jumping on you. They will allow you to grab them. They will allow you, let me see if I can pet her while she's on my arm here. They will allow you to, she loves making me look like an idiot just allow you to touch them or be more cuddly with them in that fashion so that is a sure sign that they like you and something you can be proud of when you reach that point with them okay guys another way that you can know if your chinchilla likes you is they reach this point where they begin allowing you to give them treats comfortably like in the beginning they're real just kind of like it's almost like a fish biting the end of a line with bait on it they don't really like to come to you for them really thought she just peed on me. She didn't. But when they're willing to eat some treats out of your hand and enjoy a little bit of relaxation, it's a sure sign that they like you. Let's see if we can get her to eat a few oats. Well, let's let her show her butt off and see how she does here. Do you want something or not? Where are you going? I want to escape this playpen forever. Get down. Get your butt down. Guys, and with the comments I get on the videos, I want to touch on this one because this one is not guaranteed. But obviously, if they allow you to hold them, that is a sign that they like you. But if they don't, 
That is not a sign that they dislike you. A lot of chinchillas do not like to be held. It has nothing to do with you. You're not doing anything wrong. They just don't prefer it. They don't like being bottled up like that. Just respect it. Hold them when they let you. Interact with them. <laughs> She's like nibbling on my back. Interact with them when they let you and go with it. Sometimes you're going to get a chinchilla that will sit in your lap for a long time. I've seen videos where somebody will sit there and make the entire video just holding them and petting them. It's incredible. Mine is completely hit or miss. It's like she has mood swings. Sometimes she'll sit in my lap and let me actually place one hand under her butt, one hand under her belly and hold her. Sometimes she's not feeling it. So if that's you, don't be discouraged. Just go with it. Maybe try a little bit more each and every time you have them out to build the bond even stronger. But if it doesn't happen, you didn't do anything wrong. So get that notion out of your head. You just have a chinchilla that doesn't prefer it. It's just like a dog breed that doesn't like to be picked up. Some don't care, some do. Doesn't make them a bad dog. Doesn't make these guys a bad chinchilla. It happens, it's nothing to worry about. And guys, the last thing I have for you when it comes to knowing that your chinchilla likes you is just their excitement when they can sense that you're coming into the room. So my chinchilla sits right by my office desk. You've seen that now in this video. And I'm not saying that she's, you know, doing jumping jacks every time I enter the room, but if I wake up at four or five in the morning to do things, she will come out of that hiding box and she will kind of go nuts. It's like she knows that it's time to wake up, it's time to play. That's one of her awake times during the day. Same thing at night when she knows that it's time to clean her cage. She may not be the biggest fan of videos, but she knew that she was getting out tonight at that time. She was ready for it. And that's just how it goes. When they reach that point where they're kind of excited and start learning that routine, they like you, they trust you, they're gonna go with you just like you saw her jump in the dust bath. She's not stupid. I've used that trick in the beginning when I first got her. I mean, I've used that trick more times than I can count. She's not dumb. She knew that there was a good chance I was just gonna use it to bring her down here to play. But she went in there. She wanted to get in the dust, she loves it. And we went down here and now she's fine. It's not a big deal, but Overall, guys, those are some main ways that you can know that your chinchilla likes you. They love you. They recognize you as the owner. It's part of it. Be patient. Don't let it get to you. And everything will get better as time progresses. Guys, as always, me and Chili really appreciate all of you. All of you who comment. All of you who give us the thumbs up on these videos. All the subscribers. We appreciate you even if you don't just for watching the videos. It's been kind of a, a long little journey here in the beginning. I know we're not one of the channels that has thousands of subscribers. Hopefully someday, not a big deal. If not, we enjoy making this content for you. But the main point is we appreciate you. We love that we're helping any of you become more aware. Come on, man. More aware on how to take care of these guys, more aware on how to take care of them ethically and just help you guys get through that initial process. We love doing it. We're going to keep doing it and be sure to give us one of those thumbs up on this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button so you are notified. And never forget to go over to planetchinchilla.com and don't forget about that ebook that is on planetchinchilla.com. Go to ebooks downloads in the top main menu. And if you use promo code chincare50, C H I N C A R E 50 at checkout, anybody coming from the YouTube channel can have 50% off. Until the next video, guys, again, we appreciate you. We will see you in the next video. Stay safe. Take care. Chili, say bye to everybody. Say bye-bye.